I have pr approximately 200 students in this, during the school year, and we made approximately 900 works of art this year. Um, a, your student can get their artwork in the show if they get an A or an A minus anytime throughout the, the school year. So you will see a lot of talent in the gym, but we do strive for growth. And so every artwork may not be perfect, but all of them are successful just because of that student's improvement and overall persistence to finish. Maybe they took a risk, maybe they challenged themselves to try something totally new, and that's why this art show is something I'm super proud of, and your, your students should be as well, because it's a lot of work to turn in. It's not like skimming a chapter and, and you know, just kind of winging a history test. You really got to put in the hours to make the artwork good because you can't fake that. Today, we are also featuring nine seniors that have booths in the gymnasium. And this bunch of seniors really rose to the occasion. And every year I find it really interesting because they have to select a theme uh, that kind of gears their content. And so to see their aesthetic and to see what they choose to create is really kind of interesting. So this group of seniors is really kind of all over the map. Um, and I think you'll find it fun to, to go talk to them, make them talk to you and talk about their artwork with you. Um, in, in their booths, they are also allowed to show four years of their hard work. So they are allowed to bring in work that they made as freshmen or in junior high and show that off so that you can see where they started out and now kind of where they finished, which is always kind of fun to see too. So this year's art theme was voted on by the student body. It's voted on every single year. And the poster is designed in my Adobe Illustrator class. Um, and the students chose this poster by Milo Hughes. And I then gear the certificates and the words all kind of reflect the theme. So I think she did a fantastic job. And you've probably seen posters up around the, the gym, but the trophies, all of that will kind of reflect this theme a little bit. Uh, nice job, Milo. You're right in front of me. We are extremely lucky to have a long-standing relationship with Mercer Savings Bank, and we are tremendously appreciative and want to recognize their support and involvement in our art program. It started with Mr. Mark Fleck, for those of you that know him. It's been over 40 years that we've had this relationship. Tim Bigham is our point of contact now. He's in our ele his 11th year with us. Um, he wasn't able to be here today, but Mercer Savings uh, donates $500 directly to the art department for the awards and for um, advertising, etc. But they also donate $1,000 to um, kids that want to pursue art as a career past high school. And we are going to be awarding two scholarships tomorrow night at the awards presentation. Uh, to two very hardworking and deserving students that would like to pursue partially or fully a creative career after high school. And we couldn't do this without Mercer Saving Support. Also, um, I just want to put this out here that we offer a number of travel opportunities here at CHS. We did not go anywhere this year. I got to say, COVID kind of burned me out. We went to, we tried to go to New York and it took like three years to finally get there because of COVID, and so I took a year off. I needed a break. We are going to schedule a trip for Chicago next March. So if you have an underclassman this year and, and they would like to go, it is a great opportunity. We go see um, a lot of different stuff. We go to um, per a performance, we go to the art museum, we try to go to something with Frank Lloyd Wright up there in Oak Park to see some of the architecture he's made, we go to Millennium Park, we go to the top of the Sears Tower, there's lots of stuff that we can do. And these travel opportunities, whether it's New York or Italy or wherever it is we go to, is really good because they get an opportunity to see culture outside of Mercer County and view really good artwork. So it is a great learning experience and I've had a lot of alumni um, figure out their life's paths and where they want to go post high school just because of these trips. Um, in other recognition, 
Every year we enter artwork into the Ohio Governor's Youth Art Exhibit. It is kind of our state championship. This year, uh, we only had one of the students make it past the regional round. I submitted 34 artworks out of 19 students, um, and we only managed to make it with one student, and that was Kale Sudoff. Um, I don't have your certificate. They usually mail that to us, but hopefully it'll show up any day now. Um, this is an incredibly, incredibly hard exhibit to get into because there are 10,000 artworks that are submitted from the, from the state of Ohio and only 325 are chosen. So if we get one in there, it's, it's an incredible um, artwork and it's an incredible honor. But just to make it to kind of the sweet 16 is a good thing too. And this is his artwork that made it. If you're interested in seeing any of the artwork that did actually make it into the exhibit, you can actually just kind of Google Ohio Youth Governor's Art Exhibit, and they usually post every single one from the last handful of years also. Um, or you can just go to www.govart.org and check out the ones that did make it. Nice job, Kale. So we are going to be passing out certificates of achievement and our, they are presented to all students with works in the 2023 art show. Every student that earned a spot in this exhibit is a winner as far as I'm concerned. It wouldn't have made it into the show if I didn't think it was worthy. Um, I am tr super tremendously proud of each and every one of these students because of their hard work, their time investment, their willingness to challenge themselves, and they have artwork in this, in this exhibit that they should be deeply proud of. Um, I have a giant stack. I just want to forewarn you, if you managed to stop in and didn't RSVP, I'm not yelling everybody's name out because there's like a giant... There's a giant list, but if, you, if they did RSVP, we're, we've got certificates for them. I have those. Andrew Bax. Brock Wally. Austin Lorridge. Kale Sudoff. Isaac Yaney. Maddie Wilson. Kayana Wills. Stephen Williams. Madison Whitaker. Lily West Curtis. That is the wrong girl. Wait, Maddie. <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> Lily West Curtis. I'll yes. That one. <laughs> Kate Watson. Paige Vate. Am I saying that right? Here we go. Vite. Vite. I, you know, I, I alter it every other time I say it in my head. One day it's Vate, one night it says Vite. So I'm glad you confirmed that for me. Zoe Vaughn. Sorry. Silas Yulin Hake. Talina Trenshaw. Sarah Tester. Harley Thomas. Carson Stogler. Cheyenne Sloan. Sabin Schoff. Haley Schaefer. Miley Sapp. Lucy Piper. I see. Okay. Here you go, honey. Congratulations. Congratulations. Caitlin Mullenkamp. Max McCarty. Melody Layton. Ghana Latek. Ava Kanapke. Autumn Klosterman. 
Macy Kinnicutt. Yep, she's here. Alex Kimmel. Kylie Jones. Milo Hughes. Kenley Holstad. Evie Holstad. Andrew Hines. Trey Hiley. Reese Hiley. Paige Hess. Adam here. Carly Hathaway. Alexis Hall. Olivia Grieship. Sarah Giesegi. Zoe Gilbert. Tad Drexler. Bella Donovan. Riley Christ. Alexis Connor. Bella Carpenter. Carlilli Capelli. Kamara Burns. Lily Black. Nick Bay. Lauren Ballard. Rose Axe. Aaliyah Avers. Duncan Armstrong. Kyle Adkins. Landon Ackley. Tucker Ackley. Charlotte Davis. Alana Gray. Allie Gray. I think that's, oh, there she is. Nope, Allie's here. <laughs> we can sit by each other. Oh. So again, I apologize if you are here and I didn't pull your certificate. I do have it, okay? I would like to give them a round of applause, you guys, for having stuff in the show. I would love, 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 actually, to be able to talk individually about each one of your kids because there's lots I could, good stuff I could say. We'd be here all day. <laughs> Um, we're going to start with the big awards next. So earning a ribbon in this exhibit is an incredibly tough thing to do, but we have a handful of, of awards that are chosen by individuals. The first of which was chosen by the Mercer Savings Rep, Tim Bigham. And um, he selected his earlier on Wednesday morning. The artwork that he chose was Madison Whitaker. <laughs> do you want to do you want to present yours? You want me to? Okay. <laughs> uh, the superintendent and the principal also get an opportunity to choose from everything in the gym and Mrs. Renee Kramer chose Charlotte Davis. Congratulations. Dr. Ken Schmiesing, 
awarded the Superintendent's Award to Alexis Connor. Okay, I'm gonna, I always say this too. <laughs> I go into this with like 20 favorites and I'm not lying about that. So it's hard for me because I have a love of a lot of stuff that I teach, ceramics, the wheel, you know, sculpture, drawings, the paintings, etc. So this is kind of hard for me to do every year just to pick one. I'm, I might have to pick one of everything <laughs> next time because it is, it's rough. But my award this year went to Lily West Curtis's Fish. major round of judging I take pictures of some of the best of the best inside the gym and I send out a form for the CHF staff the CHS staff to vote on and so the vote came in late late on Friday that our staff award goes to Olivia Greeship for Marilyn Monroe And lastly, our Judges' Choice Award. Um, our judges every year are individuals that have a postgraduate degree in art or they are currently actively employed in an artistic or, or, you know, like a creative career. And this year's art show judges were David Hookie, which some of you may remember is a retired CMS art teacher. He's never, he's only ever, I think, uh, judged one other time, but it's a lot of times it's because he's so close to the kids and he knows them a little too well, so I've never asked him before. This is the first year. Uh, Carol Smith, who is a retired <coughs> illustrator, I believe. She worked at Reynolds and Reynolds. And Paige Sutter, who is a photographer for the Daily Standard. So I divide up the list and they usually have to vote and judge their area of expertise. This year, they chose the Judges' Choice Award goes to Kale Sudoff. Of course. So, we are kind of buzzing through this. We are down to the Subject and Media Awards. So we're gonna start with our first place awards so first place acrylic painting Charlotte Davis first place charcoal Alana Gray if you want to hold your applause by the end <laughs> I'm gonna buzz through this so that we're not here all afternoon first place graphite Kale Sudoff First place ink, Kate Watson. First place colored pencil, Bella Carpenter. First place pastel, Lucy Piper. First place scratch board, Miley Sapp. First place fresco, Tad Drexler. First place, oil pastel, Kale Sudoff. First place, mixed media, Kylie Jones. First place, bas relief, Lily West Curtis. First place, mosaic, Alex Kimmel. First place, first place, lino print, Kylie Jones. First place, fiber art, Rose Axe. First place sculpture, Lily West Curtis. First place coil pot, Stephen Williams. First place slab pot, Zoe Vaughn. First place combination pot, Andrew Hines. She's 
got one here too. First place pottery wheel, Andrew Hines. First place computer graphics, Duncan Armstrong. First place Photoshop, Carlilli Capelli. First place illustrator, Milo Hughes. First place film photography, Lily West Curtis. First place black and white digital photo, Alexis Hall. First place color photo, Lily West Curtis. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> first place paper negative, Autumn Klosterman. First place abstract, Kate Watson. First place portrait, Kamara Burns. First place figure, Cheyenne Sloan. First place landscape, Lucy Piper. First place animal, Autumn Klosterman. <laughs> Let me get the bottoms first. Here you go. Huh? First place still life, Sarah Giesegi. And first place series, Kate Watson. Now we can applause. Again, I would love to individually discuss each one of these because they're really, really good, but you'll be able to see them in the gym. Second place, acrylic painting, Harley Thomas. Second place, charcoal, Madison Whitaker. Second place, Graphite, Kayana Wills. Second place, Ink, Tad Drexler. Second place, Colored Pencil, Kale Sudoff. Second place, Pastel, Sabin Schof. Second place scratch board, Bella Carpenter. Second place fresco, Macy Kinnicutt. Second place oil pastel, Kale Sinoff. Second place mixed media, Lucy Piper. Second place bas relief, Kylie Jones. Second place mosaic, Alexis Connor. Second place, Fiber Art, Autumn Klosterman. Did I say Charlotte? No. Did I miss it? Second place, Lino Print, Charlotte Davis. Second place, Sculpture, Zoe Vaughn. Second place, Coil Pot, Sarah Giesegi. Second place, Slab Pot, Paige Veit. <laughs> Second place, Combination Pot, Zoe Vaughn. <laughs> Second place, Pottery Wheel, Andrew Hines. Second place, Computer Graphics, Ghana Latek. Second place, Photoshop, Silas Eulenhake. Second place, Illustrator, Riley Christ. Second place, Film Photo, Adam Heer. Second place, Black and White Digital Photo, Nick Bay. 
Second place color photo, Kyle Atkins. Second place paper negative, Rose Axe. Second place abstract, Miley Sapp. Second place portrait, Paige Veit. Second place figure, Lauren Ballard. Second place landscape, Paige Hess. Second place animal, Sarah Tester. Second place still life, Zoe Gilbert. Second place series, Carly Hathaway. That's everybody for that. Second place. Nice job. Our third place awards, acrylic painting, Haley, Haley Schaefer. Third place charcoal, Kale Sudoff. Third place graphite, Reese Hiley. Third place ink, Talina Trenshaw. Congratulations on you. Third place color pencil, Paige Hess. Third place pastel, Alex Kimmel. Third place scratchboard, Kenley Holstad. Third place fresco, Kayon Wills. Third place oil pastel, Bella Carpenter. Third place mixed media, Andrew Hines. Third place bas relief, Alex Kimmel. Third place mosaic, Lauren Ballard. Third place lino print, Rose Axe. Third place fiber art, Bella Donovan. Third place sculpture, Evie Holstad. Third place coil pot, Isaac Yaney. Third place slab pot, Aaliyah Avers. Third place combination pot, Ava Kanapke. Third place pottery wheel, Lily West Curtis. Third place computer graphics, Carson Stogler. Third place Photoshop, Tucker Ackley. Third place illustrator, Tad Drexler. Third place film photo, Bella Donovan. Congratulations. Third place black and white digital photo, Kyle Adkins. Third place color photo, Harley Thomas. Third place paper negative, Melody Layton. Third place abstract, Madeline Wilson. Third place portrait, Andrew Hines. Third place figure, Haley Schaefer. Third place landscape, Harley Thomas. <laughs> Third place animal, Caitlin Mullenkamp. Third place still life, Kenley Holstead. And third place series, Lily Black. Thank you very much for coming today. I really appreciate it. It's a great turnout. I hope you enjoy the show.